Hello everybody, this is Julian with Hardcore Gamer, and I am bringing you Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. And we're about to hop into the actual game. Reading Dostoevsky, always a good start. Startle. What? Holmes, Holmes you are... You are out of your element. Holmes, will you stop that? All right, so this is a point-and-click game. You are utterly mad. What a douche! What a douche. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. So this game looks very, very good. Confidence step. Clinking handcuffs. Policeman. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, Black murdered. Peter. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. Really beautiful detail on the face. It. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Sherlock Ken, is attractive. Born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years, and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join yes me down there. No. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard. What have they done this time? They robbed Classic a power Mary reserve. Man. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Oh, so it's not a point and click. All right, so select a suit to wear. I can handle that. Okay. Black Peter. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. I would imagine so. What a poor woman cleaning up my mess. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Sorry. Alright, I don't feel like going to Holmes' room. I really don't this leave. is where I keep my post. You're damn right it is. Let's pick a suit. Oh. Is this not my, is this my wardrobe? Where's my wardrobe? Don't know. My archive. I can all my archive. I can always consult my archive. 
is my wardrobe in his room. It is, so that makes sense. Let's go with the unbutton suit. I'm feeling casual today. What, what are you telling me this is locked for? Well, no, I'm not balding. Also, not John Lennon. Lord. Okay, I know. This facial hair is all very questionable. There we go. That's better. Okay, so you unlock... Uh, aesthetic changes by solving crimes. Great. Let's go to Baker Street, shall we? Tally-ho and all that. Oh, I'm at Baker Street. My sincerest apologies. This is a neat loading screen. Very neat loading screen. That's a rather drastic change in music. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Right on. Okay, so I can sprint. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Well, great. Capable gardener. Well, where's the gardener? Let's question him. Taking the most roundabout way. Okay, well the good news is um, I don't want to trample all that man's work, so I can't be bothered to walk through the garden, it appears. Alright. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. Wow. As soon as we can, Mrs. Kearney, I assure you. Really great Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. So he was a drunk. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. When was the body found? Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? Did you kill your husband? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. Did he have visitors? Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Was there a gardener? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true, well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Hmm. Impressive. Well, thank you. I have to do my analysis of her.
gardening gloves. Oh, so I have to notice the five... What? I have to notice the five, like, hints. Alright. Cameo. Cameos are very nice. Alright, what is this way? Rosary. Good. And... A crested tit. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. There's some questionable things going on with the sinking of the lips. When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh my goodness, but how do you know about that? Oh, Q. I guess let's just look at the. Um. How do I know about Plymouth? Pilgrimage. You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. Casual. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Nailed it. Concentrate your attention. Land around stone pathway. Yes, I do see the footprints. These footprints appear to be quite large. That they do. So we need to find the boots. For how long can I focus? Alright, there's a timer. I think that there's a timer at least. <laughs> mayhaps, mayhaps not. Alright. Well, let's enter the cabin, shall we? Alright, so this is about going to wrap things up for part one of Hardcore Gamer's Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment playthrough. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and tune into the part two. Have a good day, everyone.